Hey Leo, welcome to your April love reading. I send you so much love and light. I hope that you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for watching today. So this is your love reading. Well, one of them for April. We're going to take a look and see what is going on in Leo's love life. The energy coming in, messages from spirit, could be who's coming towards you. Let's see what's going on, okay? And if you guys didn't know, you probably already do, but I am a Leo myself, sun, moon, and rising. So thank you for watching today. If you're new to this channel, my name is Lynn. This is Passionate Heart Tarot. I hope you guys enjoy the reading. Let's jump right into it, okay? Let's see what's going on. Before I begin, I just want to take a moment to invite the white light of the Holy Spirit. Interesting. Pisces energy has come through. Is anyone involved with a Pisces or an Aquarius? Those energies are here. There could be cross watchers watching your reading, Leo, or it could be moon or rising signs. This queen of swords and the four of swords. Queen of swords shows me you guys definitely taking a more assertive approach in your love life because the queen of swords is someone who has very high standards and definitely established boundaries that they're not going to compromise on even if you've let things slide in the past it's like i i feel like it's totally embracing that queen of swords energy the two of cups is letting me know that you have a very special bond with someone currently so so i i do feel like i can see an established bond, bond that's there you guys may have a person on your mind but with with the two of cups in reverse, though, I almost feel like because I'm trying to figure out, well, is this the one or are they not the one for you? So if since I can, I'm hearing that, picking up on that, I think you guys might be in that position of maybe looking at a connection you have now, feeling like this person should be the one, but are they really the one? Because these things are these things are being brought into question. The bond is undeniable. And I feel like no matter how you slice it, the two of you have a beautiful friendship, maybe your best friends and lovers all in one. But with the two of cups in reverse, I feel like things are being questioned. I feel like you're not, you're questioning things about this person and maybe what it should be, maybe even what it is and what you have with them. Because the Two of Cups in reverse shows me feeling separated from this person, uh, feeling feeling like you don't understand them and maybe they don't understand you. But then moreover, maybe some of you are just literally going to separate from them as you figure all of this out. Or you could already be in separation from them now because the Four of Swords shows me taking time maybe taking a break. These two together really is a powerful energy of taking a break from someone. Maybe as you figure things out, juggling things, figuring it out. That's what it feels like to me. But some of you may feel like you have to put your foot down this month because that's what I feel the Queen of Swords energy embodies. Establishing standards, and, and not compromising. And I don't mean that in like a mean or nasty way. I feel like it's verbally expressing to someone what you want and what you need. And just um, knowing, you know, having that confidence, knowing your self-worth and not letting anyone shortchange you or jip you. Some of you could even be to the point where you just start to get so tired of things and maybe you need a break. Because that's what the Four of Swords feels like to me. The two of pentacles, the two of pentacles, I think that you guys 
are trying your best to figure things out. And even like trying your best to, um, to the outside world. I don't, you're definitely not going to be mistreating anyone. You're definitely, no, you're not going to do anything like that. Like standing up for yourself is what I feel you'll do. Establishing boundaries is what I feel you'll do. But then again, at the, at the same time where there's like finding this balance, but then there's a lot of other emotions going on. I feel like you'll still even be cordial. Even if you're in separation or just feeling like this person doesn't get you, doesn't understand you, I feel like you'll still be cordial to them and maybe like whoever's associated with them. The Page of Wands. Okay, so that's this energy of, if, if you're wondering, Leo, well, if I establish these boundaries and if I put my foot down and if I take a break, what's going to happen? If you're wondering, um, am I going to hear from them again or am I going to push them away by standing up for myself? You're not going to push anyone away. It could be something that's absolutely necessary for you to do because I know that even if it gets to the point where you take a break and you're not talking or if you're in that energy now of being in separation from someone, you're absolutely going to hear from them. They're going to reach out to you. And they're going to uh, say those those I feel like cliche things, but I don't want to I don't want to make it sound like this person is not sincere because they are um, because the hangman is coming through in reverse. So that that's like a light bulb that has gone off in this person's mind experiences because that's like having it's like I'm um, going from being so set one way to doing a 180 and now it's like my eyes are open my mind is open my heart is open and i see what you've been saying to me i see it i feel it i realize it i experience it so that 180 is real with the star in reverse that's like losing the best thing that ever happened to me now you know if you're a cross watcher here this could be your experience with a leo and you and this could be a leo uh saying these things to you you know i just want to make that clear um, but this is like, I lost the best thing that ever happened to me. How could I let this and that come between us? I, I, I can't let you get away. So it's a person who realizes what they lost, realizes what they had with you, and is absolutely going to try to uh, make it up to you, make it all up to you, Leo. That's what I can see going on. So some of these things are future predictions. Some of these things could be going on with you now. Uh, just letting you know what's going to happen. Like, should you choose to uh, make certain decisions for yourself? And what I mean by that is maybe it's time for you to take a break from someone. Maybe it's time for you to just um, spell it out for them or make it undeniably clear about what you will and will not accept and what your expectations are and not compromising on it that's just that's what i feel could even be necessary could even be necessary to wake someone up because this is what it feels like someone is is woken up okay leo so they're woken up they realize things from your perspective so then i feel like the ball is back in your court whether or not you want to let them fix things with you, whether or not you want to embrace it. That's what, that's what the energy is like. That's what I can see going on. Okay, Leo. So I feel like I just got like a whole story of like what's going on now or what could be going on and what could happen and how the choice will be yours because what I can see happening is someone who reaches out to you, tells you what they realize and is going to ask for you to take them back. And that's your decision. Do you know what I mean? That's what I can see going on. Okay, my Leos. So just know that if you do happen to get to the point where you just are questioning things about a person that you're with, feeling like you're drained, feeling like you need a break, it could be the best thing for you to do. But moreover, um, not compromising on the things that are really important to you because you're teaching someone how to treat you. You could be letting certain things slide that set the tone that it's okay in this person's eyes. 
So you absolutely can uh, take your power back. And, you know, I because I know some of you here could be wondering, well, if I do that, what's going to happen? Because I know that you could, for some of you, I can pick up on this worry. Well, if I do that, will they step up to the plate? Will it do good? Will it do any good? It will. Because I can see where this is not to be taken lightly. These are major arcana cards. And what that means is it's like a, a realization in this person's mind about their life and their path and their choices and how it can affect them long term. Because they don't want you to be the one that got away. Okay, Leo. That's what I can see going on. I love you guys so much. I feel like I'm talking so fast. I hope that you guys enjoyed the reading. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you'll subscribe. I love you, Leo. Thank you again. And I'll see you in the next reading.